Hey awesome editors, Hive here. Have a look. Want to learn to do composition like this? So today we are going to have a look at this composition breakdown before going into tutorial. Let me give quick overview so things becomes easy to have in mind while editing. I have divided whole tutorial in five steps. Our first step is to make our character in green screen, which I told you how to do in masking tutorial. Where I taught you to do masking in just few clicks, it's the easiest way to do masking, trust me. After masking, our step two is to make simple basic compositing where we'll add glow to character and other things. Then in step three, we'll make it better but still simple. Moving on to step four here, we'll add some overlays, lens flare, and we'll adjust the color and other step. Then the final step is to add final post touches like color adjustment and adding HDRCC. Before moving further, the tutorial is now extended into third part. Because while I start editing this single tutorial, it became about 27 min long. Most of you won't watch that long video. So in this video, we'll cover step two and three. In part three, we'll see step four and five. And because of this now, I will explain everything in full details. Let's do Chidori this time and jump into Chidori. Import the masked clip that we made previously. Also import the original clip. Fix the masked clip duration. Relatively to original clip, it extends because of exporting. Now add chroma key to masked clip. Increase the threshold according to the clip and mostly above 300 is good. Then add key spill cleaner. It cleans the green tint at the edges of character by lowering the saturation near the edges. Don't increase too much or the color of clip will be faded. We can fix that, but why get into troubles? By the way, I will tell in process to fix that if color is faded. Now add solid color and change it to black color. Then go in border and shadows option. Add border, then select outside, choose size accordingly. Here I am choosing 9. Then export the clip and we'll call this layer stroke layer. Then remove border and add smooth bevel plus effect. And copy my setting values specular coefficient to max and increase intensity to max. Then select radius as you wish. Here I am choosing 12. Then change diffusion and specular angle so that those white thick lines doesn't show that much. You can copy my setting values. And it will help make character glow at edges. Then export the clip. And we'll call this layer smooth bevel layer. And now we are done in a light motion. We'll use node video to add glow to the clips that we just exported. I'll show you why we are making glow in node video. I know node video can be complicated for some people. But trust me, this is going to be easy, like in few steps we'll have the glowing clips. Because I am also not good in Node Video app. Just open Node Video app and see this new button, press the button. After that, here is red colored plus icon, press it, then select media. And then the video option to export the stroke layer. Then click that long white bar with plus icon, then you can search glow and add the glow. If you are not familiar with node video, then there is no need to change values of added glow, because the simple one is looking good. Then just export it with changing resolution to 1080p and changing quality to very high. Then just repeat the same process with smooth bevel layer.
And if still Node Video app is too complicated to use for you, check these. These are made in a light motion, but it's long process in a light motion. Just comment down. I'll make a tutorial how to make good glow in these compo position in a light motion. Now moving back to the tutorial. This little work in Node Video is done. Time to open a light motion. And now I am fast forwarding this, but you can see why I told you to do glow in Node Video. And those which I showed you earlier done in a light motion, like I said, that is long process. Always remember to fix duration of importing clips relatively to original clips. Import both clips, then put stroke layer below mask layer and smooth bevel above the mask layer. Change blending mode of stroke layer to linear dodge and also of smooth bevel layer. And now the step two is complete. We have made simple basic composition. Now moving on to step three, we'll fix problems and make it better than simple one. Here you can see smooth bevel is not that good looking, which we'll fix that with Gaussian blur. But before that, let's adjust the colors according to clip or wanted color. Mother lucking this thing. Bip, 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 bip. Let's adjust the colors according to clip or wanted color. You can try and find the best color adjustments yourself. Adjust the value of Gaussian Blur. Adjust the value of Gaussian Blur. Too much will just ruin impact of Smooth Bevel's glow. And we will monosaturate the background, which is totally optional. I am doing because while editing in step four with overlays, this will look better. Well, this is for today. I'll be back with part three pretty soon. Interruption! SpongeBob here. I like to say some things for my bro hive. These voiceover tutorial really takes time in making in phone, so keep supporting. It took bro to edit part one and part two about 25 plus hours because bro wanted to tell everything in detail. Like even it's easy for a beginner to learn. As a beginner SpongeBob myself, I can say bro explained everything very well. And even now, I'm on my way to become an editor. And if you want bro to continue tutorials, then support him. And now from me, bye-bye. Well, let Naughty Bob go and stay tuned for upcoming tutorials and edits. Give feedback if any things I should add new or remove. Stay tuned till then, adios.